Hey, this is Danielle, and today we're going to talk about how to install the Dreamline French Corner Shower Doors. This was a pretty easy project, and I love the look. We started out by drilling our holes here. We have four different ones that align with this bar, and um, they give you the dimensions to measure out for, so you have to, you know, move this in place and make sure you get it in the right spot. So we just drew out those holes. We pre-drilled them. Okay, and we're going to do it on this side as well. Okay, so we have our marks here. Drill bit. When you're installing it, you want to apply caulk along the edge and then screw it in to the pre-drilled holes. These connectors here just slide in. There's a uh, hole in the rail. Um, this is going to be where you're going to drill into the connector so you can attach it with a screw. It doesn't come with a hole in it. Okay, we're just sliding this in place. Oh, nice. That's good. It's all the way down. Oops, there it is. As you can see here, we just slide it in and push it in place, and these corner brackets hold the two pieces together. Okay, so you have little screws that attach this corner bracket in piece. You can attach it to each one. There's one on each side, and then there's one on each side on the top. Okay, so you have a bunch of these, and you're gonna put them in here. These are your wheelers, wheels, <laughs> wheelies. Um, so we're gonna put a couple up here. We're gonna put a couple up here. We gotta put some on the bottom as well. I can figure it out. There's one, and there's a little screw that attaches through the doors. Screws. <laughs> Let's see. So there's two for each section. Two for the top, two for the bottom, two for the left, two for the right. Or, you know, two for each section. Okay. Boom. Okay, go ahead. Alright, where are those little screws at? One, two, three, four. Don't knock the wheels off. <laughs> okay, so you put your screws in on this side and we'll put them in down here and we'll repeat on the opposite door. <laughs> the tricky thing about this is the wheel in the back spins. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, okay, so there's adjustments you can make. Yeah, because this one's just not quite there. Here's where it needs to be. Boom. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah. Does that help? Okay, next step is to attach the, the panels that don't move to the wall. So we're going to pre-drill the hole using a one-eighth in, one inch drill bit, according to the manual. See, they're attaching to each other. That makes sense. Or to the outside thing, yes the outside rail thing that went on first. Okay, let me get the, I gave you the screws. There they are. Teeny weeny ones. Okay, 
two more, one on each side. And these are the little caps to go over it. <laughs> okay, so like this. And then it goes in there. And then you get a cap. Boop. Okay, so the very last thing you need to do is just apply caulk along the bottom. You want to make sure you don't get it inside your rails, but around your bottom here. Clear caulk for this. Um, and then along your rails that are on the outside as well. Um, so you're going to go here, just to keep water from leaking out. Okay, so here is a picture of the shower doors once they were installed. And another view as well. And here they are once we installed the shower head. This was a super easy project. I mean, it's a little bit complicated, but really not too bad. Um, I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my blog, DIYDanielle.com. Take care. Have a great day.